guys welcome back to my youtube channel remember to like share subscribe to my videos okay and comment yes i like when you comment guys so guys let us reason together we are going to reason but as you know sometimes you have a lot of things to talk about but when you are doing it doing the video you can't remember everything so you have to put it on paper as i know that bev brown love put things on paper although when she put things on paper she have problem to read it sometimes it is so fine but i try my best to write it big so guys let us ask god to let his light shine through us every day yes that's what we have to ask god for his light to shine through us let's focus on jesus as my sister say even the blind even the blind guys can see that the coming of the lord is very near even the blind when she's you know can see that the coming of the lord is very near what about us what about us we are all spiritually blind it really touched my heart guys even the blind can see they are physically blind but they can see spiritually you understand so thanks be to god though they are blind they can see physically they can see spiritually they are physically blind but they can see spiritually thanks be to god guys let let us all ask god to help us to you know see you to us true with our spiritual eyes let us see it with our spiritual eyes if our physical one are blind let us ask god to help us to see to our spiritual eyes let us not give up on our young people, especially our boys. We can't give up on them, guys, because, the, 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 you know, the devil, the young men, them, the, the, the devil has blindfolded them in doing wrongs. Let us pray for them daily, minutely, hourly. My sister have a talk with a young man, telling him about God. He said... When he asks God for things, God takes too long to give him. But when he asks Satan for things, Satan let him have it quickly. Hmm? You see what I'm saying? When he asks God for things, God takes too long. So he go to Satan and Satan grant him what he want quickly. That's what he said to my sister. When my sister said to me, I was shocked. Can you imagine? That's why I said we have to pray for them. We cannot give up on them, guys. Mm. Excuse me, guys. My stomach is up on is on me, giving me a little trouble. So it's an up a little flame. Sorry about that. What I'm what you see what I'm talking about. Our young pe our young men are turning to Satan for help. And not and turning away from God. You see, you see, they turn away from God. So very sad. So very sad. Even in the church, many, many young people turn away from God, saying the same thing that this young man is saying. What are we going to, to do? We cannot give up on our young people. Oh no. That what the enemy would have wanted us to do to give up on them but guys we cannot give up on them we have to keep praying for them keep putting them before god and keep encouraging them because the enemy is trying to to destroy our young people how many gone down in christless grave how many young people died 2019 2020 and this coming year same way it is happening satan is destroying them so we have to put our foot down to save our young people. We cannot give up on them. Sometimes we, you know, we, we give up on them. When things go, don't go the way we want it to go, sometimes we are, we quit too. 
when things don't go the way we wanted it to go, we get down, downhearted and give up on God. I used to blame God for the death of my mother. I used to say to God, why did you let my mother die and cause us to suffer? I was hungry, God. So just like some of the young people them know, they are angry with God because they do not understand the love that God have for them and things that God want to do for them if they just give him a chance in their life to make a change. They don't know the love of God. Just like in those days when I was blaming God for taking away my mother from me, I didn't know God. I know there is a God, but I have never have accepted him in my life and and never used to you know kneel on and pray to him and go know that there's a great one above there's a god but i did understand about god for a for a very long time i did not understand anything about god but then i used to say to my sister there is a hell and there's a heaven some have to go to hell and some have to go to heaven Little did I know how much God cares for me. I didn't, I didn't know much. So back then when my sisters were telling me about God and telling me things about God and encouraging me, I used to tell them, say, hell and heaven. So hell make for some. Some have to go to hell and some have to go to heaven. But guys, I didn't understand. I didn't have that communication with God I never accepted him I never knew about him as I tell you guys because I heard about God and I didn't understand much about God but I know that there was a God in heaven so we cannot judge these young people many grow up in the church and many don't grow up in the church so many hear about God never experience him yet never really sit down and study their Bible and you know pray to God and so on so that's why the enemy kept capture them now and turning them away like that young man which said to my sister that when he asked God for things God don't give him it same time but when he asked Satan Satan give him it quickly you understand so he doesn't know much about God the love that God has for him so we can't judge them you know, and we have to pray for them and it encourages them when we see them along so sometimes we don't know how love we I didn't know loving and caring he was. Guys, I reached the point when I say enough is enough. I can't live any longer. I was going through a rough time in my life, guys. A very rough time in my life. I was going through a very rough time in my life. I reached guys, I reached to the end of my rope. I didn't know God. Satan have me in his arms. Telling me what to do. Showing me a better way out. Guys, I was planning my own death. Oh, to take my own life. It felt so good. All my pain and sorrow would be over. I was so, so very happy. I, I said everything will end. Satan, show me what to do to end everything. I... Uh, <laughs> I sit every day thinking about it and make peace with myself. But thanks be to God for his grace and mercy and his love for his children. Jesus stepped in, stepped in and showed me the way. Jesus put my children before me. He said, what will happen to them? Do you want them to suffer and go through the same thing that you have gone through. Yes, guys. I reached to the end of my rope. Where I said enough is enough. Because as I tell you guys, my life wasn't nice growing up. And I have them now. And it was very hard. And my aunt did have the two girls. But I still have to work and help. So sometimes when they want things and they came running to me for it and I said, I don't have the money as yet to give you what you want or to buy what you want. 
the smaller girl would say to me, why you have me for? Mommy, why you go have me for and you can't mind me? And guys, in those days, I'm telling you, as I said, I didn't know God to pray to him and talk with him the way I should. And I feel so hurt, pain in my heart. And I start look back in myself and say, it's true, she talking, you know, she tell the truth. Me go have them and, and me can't help them. They need help and me cannot tell them. They need simple things and me can't even buy it for them, you know. So me reach to the end of the world so me say, it better me know they run them. It's better I'm gone. It's better I'm dead, you know. Me sit and think about that and sit and put it in my mind, guys. Sit and help me and plan my own death. So when people criticizing and saying people who kill themselves, wicked and so on, I don't judge because I did reach to the end of my rope where I sit and I plan and I write to me, I write to a lot of people for help, like to telling them that I need, I am going to take my life and so on. And a lot of them, you know, try to reach out back to me, but Satan has blinded my eyes and shown me where would Satan tell me that I should just lie down in the bed, just lie down in the bed, turn, lock up everywhere, guys. And just turn on the gas and just lie and sleep. And I think about it every day and I think about it and I try to make peace with myself and say, that's it. That is what I'm going to do. But guy, guys, one day I went into the bed and I lied down. I didn't turn on the stove. I locked up the doors, locked up the windows. And I lied down in my bed. And I was there in the bed and I started crying. I was crying so much. I cry, I cry, I cry, I cry. I cried and the, this vice said to me, go and turn on the stove, man. Go and turn on this, the gas, turn on the gas. Turn on the gas, the man, lie down and relax yourself and all will be well. And I was there contemplating and I, I cry, I cry, I cry. But there come a nice, still, small vice, put everything in front of me and said, remember your children. Do you want your children to suffer the way you suffer? Do you want them to grow up without a mother? Like how you grow up without a mother? And when you, and you know, the voice was talking to me and I was there crying, crying, crying. It's the first, it's the first. I, I've never um, tell it to anyone yet that I, I plan to take my own life and was at peace with it. But God stepped in and showed me a better way, showed me that no, don't do it. Don't do it, my daughter. Because your children is going to suffer. They are going to go through worse than what you go through. And I and I get up from out of the bed, stop the crying, open up back the doors, them and open the windows. And that's the time I started talking with God the right way, praying to him and asking him to help me to go through what I was going through because I reached to that point. So I'm not judging anyone. We all have, as I said, we all go to our storms, we all go to our weak points and so on. And sometimes when you don't have anyone to sit and reason with, no one to, you know, sit and reason with, we say, I'm going through this and, and so and so be the case. So some people take their own life, I understand. And I'm so sorry that they didn't listen to that still small voice that was telling them not to do it because I know that God intervened and tell them not to, but they didn't listen. Thanks be to God, I listened because I would die a long time ago and then I would, wouldn't get any forgiveness because there's no repentance in the grave. A church sister used to come by and, you know, she would come and study with me and so on first time. And I would tell her a lot of things, not in decent language, but rebellious. You know, when you are rebellious, I was a very rebellious person. So I was telling her a lot of things and, you know, and she was showing me that God loved me and God cares and to give my heart to God and so on and so forth. And I was very, very rebellious, but she, she kept coming and coming and coming. She never gave up on me and I thank her for that. God always send her to me and she come and she study with me and she study with me and she, you know, until I really look back in myself and say, yes, God cares and, you know, look through everything. I used to curse in decent languages and them and those things and I just pray to God and beg him to help me to stop. And God help me to stop. Thanks be to God. So guys, we are not judging one another. We are just encouraging each other. 
Because many go through a lot of things. And sometimes we blame God for things that we have gone through. But only to know that it's God, the, the, the enemy, is the one who let us go through what we went through. And God was the one who protected us and rescued us out of his palm. So guys, whoever I hope they are going through a rough time now and thinking about taking your life, please don't do it. There is no repentance in the grave and God won't forgive you for taking your own life, okay? I reached the point where I nearly do the same thing, but I, I didn't. So if I can do it, you can do it too, guys. Just go on your knees and pray to God and ask God for help. Ask God for everything that you are in need of. And whatever problem you are going through and bothering you, that you reach the end of your rope and want to end your life, God can work it out for you. Yes, God can work it out for you guys. So please don't take your life, guys. Just pray to God and ask for help. Help, ask him to give you the strength to go on. And he will help you. He will do it for you. We have done it for me, Beth Brown. And he will do it for you. The first, my sisters and my children will know that I almost take my own life. I didn't tell them anything, guys. So, guys... Continue to pay, pray for me and continue to encourage me in your comment page. Part there are a lot, guys. I like when you comment and you know. So continue to doing that. It cheer me up. We are going through our storm. We are going through a rough time. I went through a terrible time since week, guys. With what I'm going through, but guys, I'm not giving up. I'm just holding on. And asking God to hold on to my hands. I cannot hold on to Jesus. Because guys. I will let go. We are weak. But God won't let us go. So I ask God every day to hold on to my hands. Not to let me go guys. Because we all go through our storms in life. We all go through terrible times. And sometimes. I think that. Yes this is it. I'm not going to live to see another day. When my stomach and my panic attack is upon me well thanks be to god what i'm doing now eating every five hours so my stomach is not that that bad and no one then it attack but the panic attack panic attack is troubling me back again guys so just pray up bev brown just pray up bev brown sometimes there are days when i think i cannot make it but as I said, I always say, help me, Jesus. When all those feelings come on me, I said, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. And he always reached down and helped Bev Brown. So he will help you too, guys. All the troubles and all the tests and all the trials that we are all going through. God is there to help us, only for us to ask him to help us. And he's willing to help us and you guys out there young guys and so on who are going through terrible times and think that god doesn't care he does cares for all of us for you, all you young people both male uh, males and females god cares about you and god loves you so much please don't turn away from him because the enemy yes the enemy will provide you with a lot of things pledge off this world and grant make you get all what you think you need but the best man to turn to is Jesus because the enemy just give it to you and then what he do will take you out and he end your life quickly. So cling to King Jesus, not to the enemy because there's nothing he can do for us. Man put us into trouble, trouble. So guys, please think about it. Lean on Jesus because he will never leave us nor forsake us. And he will never go back on his words. Okay? So he's coming for all of us. We all have to just give him our heart and do what is right and please him in his sight. And to love each other as ourselves. So I hope this little story that I'm telling you guys, somehow here it will help. Who we'll think that there's no way out for them. Okay, guys. Love you guys and peace out. So I hope this help others who are thinking of taking their life. Please don't go there. Please don't do it. God love us all and God care for us. Don't care what you are going through. God will help you. 
just pray to him and have faith in him, in him and he will come through for you guys. Okay, peace out. Have a blessed day. Bev Brown. All right, love you guys.